Hello, welcome to this online learning library welcome video. My name is Michelle Frazier Robinson. I'm a librarian and I work in the research services department on the Hattiesburg campus. It's my job to assist students and faculty with their research needs. My formal job title is Education and Psychology Librarian, which means that I specialize in working with students and faculty in the College of Education and Psychology. So that includes you, even though you're not on campus. You may not be aware of this, but as an online student, you have access to many of the same resources that on-campus students have access to. That's why you're watching this video, so that I can show you how to navigate the library website to find these same resources. So let's get started. You're currently looking at the library homepage. To get to the library homepage, simply go to lib.usm.edu. We created the library webpage with you in mind. It's easy to navigate and there are multiple ways to access resources. The first thing I want to point out is how to get help from a librarian. If you'd like to speak with one of us, simply click Ask a Librarian at the top of the library homepage. That will take you here. On this page, you can chat with one of us or you can get email assistance. You can also set up a research consultation to speak with one of us at length. Research consultations can be done through email or they can be done over the phone. We don't have to meet in person. Request a research consultation by filling out and submitting this form. Once you submit the form, you'll be contacted by a librarian so that you can arrange a meeting time. Now let's return to the library homepage. For those of you that are not very familiar with the library website, I think the best place to begin looking for resources is through one of the research guides. The research guides are kind of like a one-stop shop for all of your resource needs. To get to the guides, click Research Guides at the top of the library homepage. As you can see here, clicking the Research Guides tab takes you to an alphabetical list of subjects. Simply scroll down the list to find your subject area. For this example, we're going to look at the Guide for Education. Some of the research guides have sub-guides, as you can see here. Some of the subguides are for narrower subject areas and some are for a particular course. For this example, I'm just going to use the generic education guide. When you land on the guide's home page, you'll notice that there are several tabs located at the top of the page. You can use these tabs to help you find books, articles, videos, or you can even find information on how to cite your sources. To find a book, simply click on the Find Books tab and then input a keyword or title in the search box. Being an online student, you may wonder what's the point in trying to find a book. But did you know that we have thousands of ebooks? And you can access them from any computer. And did you know that we can send physical books to your home? That's right. Once you find a book in our library catalog, we can send that book to your home through our Eagle Express document delivery service. You can get more information about this service by going to the Interlibrary Loan Department's homepage. You need to establish a free account with the Interlibrary Loan Department to request these books. You can request a maximum of 10 books. 
Your books will be shipped with a prepaid mailer so that you can return the books to us. This is all at no cost to you. You can also access electronic journal articles from the research guide. Click on the Find Articles tab to get a list of databases appropriate for your subject area. If we don't have the article that you need, the Interlibrary Loan Department can get it for you from another institution. It usually takes about 48 hours for you to receive the full text article through your campus email address. If you're unsure about the process of requesting items through Interlibrary Loan, you can contact us for assistance by going to the Ask a Librarian link at the top of the library homepage. Remember at the beginning of this video, I told you that there were multiple ways to access resources from the library website. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't want to search for your resources through the research guides, you can go directly to the library databases to search for articles or directly to the catalog to search for books. To go directly to the databases, click Articles and Databases at the top of the library homepage. From here, you'll get an alphabetical list of databases. Select the one that's most appropriate for your research. And you can use the search box near the middle of the library homepage to find books. So just because you aren't on campus doesn't mean you can't get the materials you need to complete your online courses. If you have questions about our resources for online learning, perhaps our welcome guide for online students will help. You can find it by going to the research guides. Remember that the librarians are here to help you with your resources for online learning. Don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for viewing this video.